From sheriff's deputy to convicted felon, a sudden guilty plea today on assault charges. Justice, a sex crimes trial was about to begin. Those big developments in the case of Richard Fisher lead off tonight's nightly check-in. Hello, I'm Mark Mullen. I'm Catherine Garcia. Are you plead guilty or not guilty? Guilty. That was the moment this afternoon when the former deputy admitted to assaulting 16 women while on duty. Fisher's plea deal includes seven charges, four of which are felonies for assault and battery, but they are less severe than what he was originally facing, including accusations of sexual battery. The seven charges in today's plea deal include no mention of sexual misconduct. The incidents date from June 2015 to October 2017. Specific details were not released about each charge. Meanwhile, we are hearing exclusively from one of Fisher's accusers. I feel relieved, yeah. That, you know, we were, we were all telling the truth. The woman wishing to be identified only as Michelle says Fisher touched her inappropriately during the 2016 traffic stop. He denied those allegations. While she has mixed feelings that today's charges did not include sexual assault, she wants women to know they should not be afraid to come forward in a situation like this. Fisher faces up to five years in prison when he's sentenced in December. A judge will also decide if he has to register as a sex offender. Despite loud protests today, Governor Gavin Newsom signed off on sweeping new restrictions on medical exemptions for children vaccines. The protests in the state capitol were so intense they actually delayed Senate debate for almost two hours. The two bills would create state oversight of medical exemptions for vaccines required to attend public and private schools as well as daycare centers. Testimony wrapped up today in the trial of a Rancho Bernardo man accused of getting drunk and falling asleep with a lit cigarette in his hand which sparked a condo fire. And that fire ended up killing his two children. 39 year old Henry Lopez waived his right to test Testify in court today. He's charged in the October 2017 deaths of his children, seven year old Isabella and 10 year old Christos. Closing arguments in the trial are scheduled for tomorrow morning. The family of a missing San Diego woman last seen in Maui is now offering a $10,000 reward. 23 year old Kiara Henry was last seen on July 21st near a beach park. This is a new surveillance video of Henry at a Hertz rental car location in Maui. Any information can also be sent to the family's tip line. That number is right there on your screen, 808-757-5102. Well, as you know, absolutely gorgeous day today. We're all enjoying this cooler weather. What about tomorrow? Here's Dagmar. Here's what we're looking at for Tuesday. It's not going to be too bad. It will be very close to your Monday, which means cool and refreshing. The coast, you will see a few lingering clouds, mid 70s there. Inland valleys, you'll be just under 80. Beautiful, mostly sunny skies there. The mountains, about that low 70 mark. You can't go wrong with that under mostly sunny skies. Deserts, also a bit of a cool down in there. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, a little bit of a cool down. After that, we have a warm up. So enjoy. Finally tonight, a little something for you Broadway lovers. A Tony Award winning actor and writer is bringing one of his better works to the La Jolla Playhouse. This used to be our fertile land. The Aztec Empire, green and grand. John Leguizamo wrote the play Kiss My Aztec almost two decades ago. The show tells the story of a 16th century group of ragtag Aztecs leading the resistance against the Spanish. The actor sat down with NBC7's Audra Stafford to talk about the musical. Is about the conquest. So it's about a, a couple of rebels who want to free themselves from the slavery of, of the conquistadors and, and how they plot, how they cajole, how they trick to finally get their freedom. The musical runs at the La Jolla Playhouse from September 3rd through October 13th. You can always stay on top of the local dining, shopping, and nightlife scene by clicking on the entertainment tab at NBC7.com. And for breaking news, we'll see you on TV for the news at 4, 5, 6, and 11. Have a good night.